All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be proving to you guys that pi is equal to three. So as you guys probably already know, pi is an irrational number, meaning it doesn't have a whole number value and it's actually equal to 3.14159 and on and on and so forth forever. So that's why it's an irrational number. It's to just don't stop going. So in this video, I'm going to be proving to you guys that pi is actually equal to 3 and not the irrational number that we all know it is. So what I'm first going to do is start with the statement x is equal to pi plus 3 over 2. So all I'm doing is I'm giving a value to a variable which is completely illegal, which is completely legal. So now what I'm going to do is multiply both sides by 2. So I get 2 times x is equal to pi plus 3 over 2 times 2. Now, 2 times x is equal to 2x. So I get 2x is equal to, these two 2s cancel out, pi plus 3. So I get 2x is equal to pi plus 3. And now from here, I'm going to multiply both sides by pi minus 3. So I have pi minus 3 times 2x is equal to pi plus 3 times pi minus 3. Now, pi plus 3 times pi minus 3 I'm going to distribute the pi so I get pi squared plus 3 pi minus 3 pi, which they just simply cancel out, plus 3 pi minus 3 pi, these two cancel out, and then I have minus 9 at the end. So this is, I can just say this is pi squared minus 9, and for my left hand side, I can distribute the 2x so I get 2x pi minus 6x. And now from here, I'm going to add x squared on both sides. So I have x squared plus 2x pi minus 6x is equal to pi squared minus 9 plus x squared. And let me just reorder this real quick. I'm going to write this as x squared minus 6x plus 9, so I'm going to add 9 on both sides, is equal to x squared minus 2 pi x, so I'm going to subtract 2 pi x on both sides, and at the end, plus pi squared. So I have x squared minus 6x plus 9 is equal to x squared minus 2 pi x plus pi squared. And now x squared minus 6x plus 9, this factor is out into x minus 3 squared. And x squared minus 2 pi x plus pi squared is the same thing as x minus pi squared. So I have x minus 3 squared is equal to x minus pi squared. And now, I want to cancel these two squares, so I'm going to take the square root on both sides. So now the square root of x minus 3 squared is equal to x minus 3, and the square root of x minus pi squared is equal to x minus pi. So I get x minus 3 is equal to x minus pi. So now I'm going to cancel these two x's out by subtracting x on both sides. So now I get negative 3 is equal to negative pi, and now if I multiply both sides by negative 1, I get pi is equal to 3. So there you have it. I just proved that pi is equal to 3. So now where did I go wrong? Because obviously we know that pi is not equal to 3. So where did I go wrong? Well, I actually went wrong on this step right here where I said that the square root of x minus 3 squared and the square root of x minus pi squared is equal to x minus 3 and x minus pi, respectively. Well, this is actually not true, 
the square root of x minus 3 squared isn't equal to x minus 3, is equal to the absolute value of x minus 3. And same goes with the square root of x minus pi squared. It's not equal to x minus pi. It's equal to the absolute value of x minus pi. So the reason this is so important is because now I get x minus 3 is equal to negative x minus pi or also negative x minus 3 is equal to positive x minus pi since we're taking the absolute value of these two. So if we want to solve x minus 3 is equal to negative x minus pi, we're going to have to first distribute the negative sign. So I get x minus 3 is equal to negative x plus pi. So now if I add x on both sides, it's to cancel out. So I get 2x is equal to 3 plus pi. And x is equal to 3 plus pi over 2, which going back is what we started with. So there you have it. That is something really important to know that the absolute value is, or sorry, the square root of a square isn't just the normal version, it's the absolute value of that. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the equation three to the power of x plus three to the power of x is equal to 12. So my only variable in this equation is x, so that's what I'm gonna be solving for. And now for my solution, So let me first rewrite my equation down here so I have a little more solving space. So my equation is 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x is equal to 12. And the first thing I'm going to do from here is factor out 3 to the power of x from my left hand side. So I get 3 to the power of x times, well 3 to the power of x divided by 3 to the power of x is 1. So 1 plus 1 is equal to 12. And 1 plus 1 is 2. So I get 3 to the power of x times 2 is equal to 12. And now I can divide both sides by 2. So then these two cancel out. And I get 3 to the power of x is equal to 6. Now from here, what I'm going to do is take the log on both sides. So I get log 3 to the power of x is equal to log 6. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front, so this turns into b times log a. In this case, I have log 3 to the power of x, so I can move x to the front. So this turns into x times log 3 is equal to log 6. Now from here, I can divide both sides by log 3. So then these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 6 over log 3. Now, log 6 is the same thing as log of 3 times 2. And if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log 3 times 2 turns into log 3 plus log 2, and I have this over log 3. So now this turns into log 3 over log 3 plus log 2 over log 3. So then these two cancel out, and I get 1 plus log 2 over log 3. So this is my answer.